Caves are generally damp and smelly and dark sorts of places. The only thing that you might expect to find in a cave that would be exciting is a bear. And even then, that might be the wrong sort of excitement. But sometimes people find the craziest stuff in the weirdest of places. From cannibals' cups to frisky glowworms, here are 20 strangest things found in caves. Number 20. The Cannibals of Ghost Cave this cave in Somerset in the UK has evidence that all the way back, around 14,700 years ago, our ancient ancestors were busy eating people. That's right, these people were indeed cannibals. Scientists from the Natural History Museum in London have unearthed an entire array of compelling and revolting evidence that ice-aged humans in this part of the world were busy chomping on each other and eating those body bits as a matter of course. There are bones which had belonged to people that have clear evidence of being gnawed on by other humans. In fact, the longer bones have even been cracked to extract the marrow. Ew! Oh, and there's also three skulls that had been fashioned into bowls. How utterly delightful. Then, after eating their fellow humans, it appears that these Ice Age people also like to do a spot of decorative carving into the remaining sucked dry bones. This, they say, may be evidence of a complex symbolism within a belief system of these early humans. There's also some evidence that they were not consuming people because of a lack of other food, but rather there was an abundance of animal meat at the time, so the cannibalism may well have been ritualistic. So that's all rather sinister and unsettling then, isn't it? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Here we are again with another hilarious installment of the Fancy Topic Saga. In this week's episode, we'll be introducing you to a couple of scientists who have allegedly found a three million year old cave and found something incredible inside. I know, I know, it looks super janky, but what can I tell you? They look sort of surprised about it, so we should probably assume that it's aliens. It always is, you know. And ancient caves are like their absolute most favorite places to leave secret one lost clues that would absolutely prove their existence. But what do you think that they've found here? As always, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Mayan Underwater Caves Archaeologists have been exploring the ancient underground cave system in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico and have uncovered plenty of evidence of life in the Mayan civilization that seems to have been left untouched for over 1,000 years. There is a sacred well, which contains more than 150 objects, that seem to have been placed there as part of a ritual. The series of caves is revealing many new clues to the mysterious culture of the ancient Maya, although this cave was discovered back in 1966, it was almost immediately resealed and then left for more than 50 years before archaeologists went back in and began to document what was inside. The cave system of Balamku is vast and winding. The spaces between the areas and access is so tight that it's often necessary to crawl on one's belly in order to reach them. So it's been surprising and fascinating for the explorers to make so many discoveries in this inaccessible space. They have found bones and artifacts, which includes plates, vases, and incense burners, which they believe were left as offerings by the ancient residents of the area. The ancient Mayan people believed that these underground caves and cenotes were openings to the underworld, so they would leave their offerings in these places and considered them extremely sacred. With modern technology, it's now possible to see more of the vast cave network than ever before, and the painstaking task of 3D mapping the entire area is helping to shed new light on the mysteries of these ancient people. Number 18. 30 million people live in caves in China. 
In the Jiangxi province of China, there's a surprising and decidedly unmodern style of housing that remains perennially popular. Yes, millions, in fact tens of millions of people, live in caves in this region. Not in the sense that people did in the Stone Ages, but in a mixture of ancient style and modern convenience. The whole region is known for the specific porous rock, which makes digging a cave dwelling easy. This is why it's been the technique for house building here for thousands of years. These days, they're no longer rudimentary dwellings of days gone by. They can and often do contain all of the modern conveniences that you may expect to find, but in a more conventional and contemporary built house. In fact, the building of these houses is a pretty savvy way to make a home. There are very few tools, equipment, and materials that are required, and they're also naturally insulated, as the earth around them provides a perfectly balanced cooling and heating system all of its own. There are still some homes which are very basic and have been kept quite simple indeed, but there are plenty more which have all of the usual amenities like electricity, plumbing, and telephones. But what do you think? Would you live in a cave like this? Let's have a discussion in the comments section down below. Number 17. Oldest Leather Shoe Discovered at the Arni 1 cave in Armenia's Voyots Dzor province, this is believed to be the world's oldest ever leather shoe. Wow, such thrilling stuff. This shoe is believed to be over 5,500 years old, and that makes it over a thousand years older than the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is, by anyone's standard, very, very old indeed. This shoe was made of cowhide leather and was fashioned from a single piece of the material and then shaped to fit the foot of the wearer. When it was found, the shoe was stuffed with grass, and it's not been determined whether this was added to help keep the feet warm or whether it served the purpose of keeping the shape of the shoe when it was not being worn. It measures a size that's equivalent to a U.S. woman size 7, although back along five and a half thousand years ago, people were actually much smaller than us big old fatties of today, and it's possible that the shoe actually belonged to a man. But really, who could possibly say? Number 16. 6,000 Year Old Treasure Discovered all the way back in 1961, this is believed to be the oldest crown in existence in the whole entire wide world. The crown would be found in a cave in the Judean desert, along with more than 400 other hoarded objects. It's believed to be more than 6,000 years old, dating back to the Copper Age, approximately 4,000 to 3,300 BC. Experts in this time period believe that the ancient relic was used as part of a burial ceremony for important people of the era. The crown is unusual in its design and is made of a thick, heavy ring on which there are various protrusions. These include birds that appear to be vultures and other objects which may be doors. The other objects in the cave include clay statues of gods and other figurines that are made from copper, stone, ivory, and clay, and there were also several burial containers, or ossuaries, which were used to keep human skeletal remains. These were likely used for men who held positions of power in society of the time. The reason that the hoard had been squirreled away does remain a mystery, although it's believed that it had once been in a shrine, which is located about 12 kilometers away from where they were found in the cave. Number 15. Giant Lemurs In the past, there were many giant versions of animals that we know of today. The giant lemur is one such creature. Although it's believed to have gone extinct between 500 and 2,000 years ago, there's plenty of evidence that there used to be loads of these animals roaming about on the island of Madagascar. The giant lemur was the largest primate that's known to have evolved on Madagascar, a place where many unique species have been discovered that have not been found anywhere else in the world. These animals were as big as a male gorilla and have been compared to ground sloths, which were a massive and scary version of the regular sloth from the rainforests of South America way back in history. The discovery of a water-filled cave on the island of Madagascar has revealed a graveyard that's full of bones of this extinct giant lemur. There are hundreds of bones all over the floor of the cave. 
As well as the lemurs, there are also other bones that belong to several different extinct creatures, including the elephant bird, which was a large and flightless bird that was kind of like an ostrich. Nobody can really say why all of these animals ended up in this cave. It is a bit of a head-scratcher. And it could have been the lair of a big bad predator that just liked to eat all the animals and then throw the bones on the floor like in a scary fairy tale. Although the bones do not show evidence of these creatures having been eaten, there are no gnaw marks apparently. So it seems that they have just decided to go with for now is the idea that the bones washed into the cave over time, both before and after humans got involved with all the killing and making extinct of such creatures. Number 14. A Witch's Ghost Ah, great, my favorite. Some nonsense posted by some Wally on Reddit, where all the best information and people on the internet can be found. So, some bloke called Danny posted on Reddit in January of 2016 that he had been out hiking in the Catskills. So far, so very dull. But to get the old internet all riled up, this Danny character had given his tedious trekking tale a bit of a supernatural spin. He knows all those internet-y people just can't resist a good yarn. So what we're told by Danny is that he and his rambling sidekick went rummaging about in a cave while they were out there on their jaunt in the Catskills. And there, they found a spooky old cave with a creepy old statue. The plot does thicken. Oh, Danny, do tell us more. Please do. Well, it transpires that Danny's chum who, it should be added, remains nameless all throughout, despite being a central character in the story, decided to take the scary statue home. I mean, who wouldn't want to bring home a carved wooden effigy with nails in its eyeballs and a noose around its neck? It sounds so very charming and sweet. A complimentary addition to any home decor scheme, I'm sure. The unnamed pal pilfered the object, despite dear old Danny's reservations and rumors of devil worship in the vicinity. Oh no, it seems to be headed in sinister direction. Danny returns to his tale and regales Reddit with the following update. He said that in the days following their wandering and cave robbing exploits, the friend of no name calls him up and says that the statue keeps on moving around and it smells weird. Therefore, he reckoned it had to be haunted. Weird night knockings were keeping him up, and the stickiness was getting worse. Then apparently, one night, there were muddy footprints all over the place. This spooky experience was shortly followed by a full apparition of a soaking wet naked old woman crouching in the corner of the living room. That was it, and they were sending the statue away to be prodded by an occult specialist who naturally confirmed that this was indeed a haunted statue. There you go. Thanks for that, Danny. Where would the internet be without brave souls like you sharing your stories? Number 13. Giant Bird Claw about 30 years ago, a group of archaeologists were on an expedition in a massive cave inside of Mount Owen in New Zealand when they discovered a weird object that gave them the willies. It was a colossal claw, which still had flesh and scaly skin intact, and it looked, in the gloom of the cave, to all intents and purposes, to be a dinosaur claw. It was so well preserved, in fact, that they could only imagine that it must have come from something that was only recently deceased. Actually, though, it turned out to have belonged to a creature that died 3,300 years ago and had been mummified in the cave, the conditions being perfect for the preservation of this piece of the dead animal. The animal that they had discovered was not a dinosaur, but a moa. Moas were a type of huge, flightless bird that was native to the islands of New Zealand for millions of years, up until around 600 years ago when they became extinct. As science has become more and more sophisticated, it's become possible to figure out just how this might have happened, and guess what? It was done by humans. These big old birds had been bumbling around quite happily for literally millions of years, and then in the late 13th century, humans arrived on the islands, and if you do some pretty basic maths, that coincides with the extinction of the moa bird. So what could possibly be the cause of these birds' sudden and untimely demise? Scientists now believe that humans have behaved in a pretty similar way for a lot of our history. You know, just killing stuff and taking things and not really thinking about the general impact of their behavior. So whether for food or sport or just bloodlust, people systematically remove the moa from the face of the earth. Number 12. The Golden Library 
Now, I don't want to be a terrible old cynic. <laughs> I know it's kind of too late for all of that by now. But there are some websites on the internet that have their own agendas. It is a shock, but I think it's important that we talk about it. This means that the things that people might say on those websites might not have been the most scrupulous of fact-checking processes. It is a possibility that is worth keeping in mind, especially when a seemingly major discovery has been made, and yet the report on this website says that it didn't get a whole lot of attention, so they thought they would give it some exposure. Oddly enough, people like to make stuff up. Like the idea that an archaeological discovery of dubious credence was built by giants. This is the claim that they make for this here golden library, allegedly discovered inside of a cave in Ecuador. We are told that the guy who found this place stumbled upon a metallic alien library, and this, they say, was a huge array of sheets of gold and other precious metals. The existence of this and other alleged artifacts were never confirmed by any Ecuadorian authorities, so go make of that that and whatever you feel like. Number 11. Clerksdorp's Fear Although these may look like some sort of alien heads to all of you want to believers, they're apparently naturally formed rocks. Sorry to poop the heck out of that particular extraterrestrial party. These are the Clerksdorp spheres, and they were discovered in South Africa and have been dated back to about 3 billion years. They're formed naturally from carbonate concretions, which can be found in pyrophyllite deposits in this area of the world. These spheres have grooves on them that were created by minerals forming in the space between the sediment. This process, over the course of billions of years, can produce these precise seeming shapes. Naturally, there was every reason to believe that these are not just some boring old rocks, but are definitely something to do with aliens. I mean, aliens just love round stuff after all. That much is beyond any doubt. So if you do happen upon something even remotely mysterious, the boring scientific explanation involving geology and crystalline structures is unlikely to be the correct one, because oh no, it's far more likely to be an enormous intergovernmental global cover-up of the definitive proof of aliens. I mean, it's round, it must be mysterious, and it's definitely aliens. Number 10. Kauai Cave Wolf Spider First discovered back in 1971, the Kauai Cave Wolf Spider is a mighty rare beastie indeed. In fact, this is one of the most rare creatures in the whole of the entire world. Believed to live only in this one specific place on the Hawaiian island of Kauai, the eight-legged monster is known by the locals as the blind wolf spider. This is because the spider has no eyes. Its eyes have disappeared completely, unlike its close relative, the surface-dwelling regular wolf spider that sports some rather large eyeballs. This spider, while living in almost complete darkness in a cave, has no need for its eyes anymore, so they've just simply been phased out. There are only ever about 30 of these spiders documented at one time, and they live in this isolation and darkness in this one spot, eating another cave-dwelling creature, the Kauai Cave Amphipod. Both of these species are actually extremely endangered. The biggest threat to their continued existence is, of course, human beings. It is the party people and their cigarettes that are putting these critters at risk. Apparently, people smoking in these caves and leaving their butts all over the show is poisoning the spiders and their prey. Nicotine is a strong insecticide, and the toxic fumes are causing all kinds of damage. Perhaps they should just put that on the warning label. Smoking is hazardous for your health and also may cause extinction in blind cave spiders. Number 9. A New Dead Sea Scroll in March of 2021, there was apparently a new set of bits and pieces of a so-called Dead Sea Scroll that would be discovered. These fragments were uncovered in the desert in Israel, and it's believed that they were hidden there at some point during a Jewish revolt against Rome almost 2,000 years ago. It would be announced by the Israel Antiquities Authority that the archaeological project, which had been ongoing for the previous four years, had unearthed bits of the Book of Twelve Minor Prophets. These apparently 
include the books of Zechariah and Nahum, and they're all super excited about this. But when they say fragments, they really do mean fragments. These are literally scraps of stuff, so who the heck can possibly say just what it all means? It has been 60 years since they've found any other Bible bits, so there's a certain amount of desire to find something, even if anything. Number 8. Translucent Snail one of the deepest caves in the world is in Croatia, and it's the location of a new discovery of an exciting world of snails. I know it's such a buzz, but do try to contain your excitement. These are extremely tiny, cave-dwelling, dark-loving, translucent snails, which have been given the catchy name of something I'm not about to try and pronounce. These miniature creepers are extremely delicate and fragile with a beautiful shaped shell. Now, it may not be much to write home about in the scheme of things, but researchers in the cave have found only one specimen that was actually still alive. So, who can say just what a find this really is? The tiny creature would be discovered at the super dark depth of 980 meters below the surface, in a chamber that was full of sand and rocks and had a river running through it. What a thrill ride this one is! Number 7. Hobbits in a cave in Indonesia, a discovery would be made that proves that Tolkien's Middle-earth was not a fictional setting after all. Well, actually, that's a massive lie. They found a type of early human, which is actually called Homo florensis, and they decided that they looked a bit like hobbits because they were small. Wow, this is some deep and meaningful stuff we've got going on. These old-timey human sorts were around until about 50,000 years ago. The bones that were found in this cave range from approximately 100,000 to 60,000 years old, and the tools that would be found in the cave along with these bones are 190,000 and 50,000 years old. These were the last other kinds of humans to die out before the Homo sapiens, and that's sort of like us, who took over as the only humans on the block. Number 6. The Altamira Man Back in 1993, this skeleton would be found in a cave in Italy. It became known as the Altamira Man and was believed to be somewhere between 128,000 and 187,000 years old. As time and technology have moved on, it has since become possible to extract DNA from this skeleton. It was the oldest ever DNA to have been successfully extracted from a Neanderthal. The researchers behind the remarkable progress are now trying to determine what, if anything, new may be learned about the evolution of these distant ancestors. Number 5. The Ohm What the heck is an Ohm? I mean, I've never heard of this weird little creature, have you? The Ohm is also known as the Proteus. It's a salamander that's completely aquatic and, unlike most amphibians, chooses to spend its entire existence immersed in water. These sausage sorts of salamanders are cave-dwelling underwater creatures. They eat, sleep, and breed in the wet stuff. And the funny thing about the Ohm is, apart from basically everything else about it, is that this particular species of creature is found in a rather specific region of Central Europe. They can be mainly found in the caves of limestone bedrock that exist beneath southern Slovenia, northwestern Italy, southwestern Croatia, and Bosnia-Herzegovina. That is a remarkably small area in the scheme of the planet. Apart from the startling appearance of the Ohm, it was also completely adapted in other ways to a life underground. These animals have undeveloped eyeballs, which means that they're completely blind, but they wouldn't be able to see in the pitch darkness of deep underwater caves anyway. Their other senses have been heightened, however, and they have an acute sense of smell and hearing, but they have no pigment in their skin. This makes the Ulm have a weird alien sort of quality, but be careful how you look at these bizarre animals, because from a certain angle they have a distinctive appearance of a particularly unmentionable appendage. You know you were thinking it too. Don't pretend that you weren't. Number 4. Kabayan Fire Mummies in the Philippines, within the forest just north of Manila, some loggers made a discovery that gave everyone the willies. 
they found a bunch of ancient burial chambers containing hundreds of skulls and coffins. These were the ancestors of a tribe who had inhabited this region for thousands of years and had some extremely complex and detailed embalming and burial practices. When the person was dying, they drank salty mixtures that would actually help to begin the process. It doesn't sound ideal when you're already dying, kind of like rubbing salt in the wound, to be honest. And then when they were actually dead, possibly from drinking all of that salty water, their bodies were washed and then rubbed with herbs and heated up to fill their mouths with smoke. Now I know, it's beginning to sound a bit like a barbecue. This was repeated many times for many weeks, and then they were placed in their coffin in the fetal position. These are the old dead bones that were found, and it's all a little bit spooky. Number 3. A Rainforest The Sun Dung Cave Complex is the largest in the world. It's so very big indeed that it has its own underground forest. It's weird, but it's true. Located in Vietnam, in 2009 this massive cave was finally measured and mapped out and declared to be the largest in the world. It has all the usual stalactites and drippy rocky walls that you would expect to find in a cave, but it also has a unique and surprising feature that is not the run-of-the-mill cave stuff. It has its own ecosystem and therefore can support its very own primeval forest. Number 2. Glow Worms the Watomo Caves in New Zealand's North Island are a hugely popular tourist destination and it's easy to see why. These extraordinary underground caverns are home to millions of glowworms, which makes the experience of visiting this place unlike anything you've ever seen before. Discovered back in 1887, the Watomo Caves are a series of impressive rock formations and grottos that are full of glowworms. These caves began forming over 30 million years ago, and they're made from limestone, which has been growing stalactite and stalagmite formations, gradually creating hundreds of caves. It's possible to visit some 10 of these caves today, and despite the obvious, awe-inspiring sensation of visiting such impressive and unusual underground rock formations, the thing that makes this place truly unique are the creatures that live there. The caves are positively stuffed full of glowworms. Now, glowworms are apparently not even worms at all, but rather they're a kind of gnat. The glow that they emit is to attract insects to the long trails of sticky stuff that they suspend from the ceiling, and this is where they catch their dinner. They also use their bioluminescence to attract a mate, so although it is nice to think that these bugs are lighting the way through the caves for your visual pleasure, they're actually doing it to get laid and commit murders. How lovely. Number 1. Cueva de los Cristales, Cave of Giant Crystals, Chihuahua, Mexico this place is totally crazy looking and a crystal mommy's wet dream no doubt. Hidden deep below the mountains in Mexico, the Cave of Crystals was discovered by accident in the year 2000 when a group of miners were out looking for ore deposits. What they found was a large cave which was full of these weird white crystals, many as big as huge tree trunks or telephone poles. The crystals were not simply embedded in the rock face or even hanging down from the top of the cave, they were all around them jutting out in every direction. This seemingly unique place is 290 meters below the Earth's surface, and that's almost 1,000 feet underground, which is presumably how it lay undiscovered for all that time. Although the cave is certainly a fascinating place, it's also difficult to study as it's excruciatingly hot and airless down there, so the research into the strange place has been limited since its discovery. There's also a strong desire to preserve the cave for future generations, so it's remained relatively untouched. They have discovered a certain amount about the origin of this oddity. The crystals are gypsum, which is formed when conditions are just right in an environment where there are mineral-rich waters, specifically calcium sulfate, which is the mineral from which gypsum is created. This place was unique as the temperature and conditions would provide the perfect environment for the crystals to grow very slowly, which is a requirement for extremely large crystals like these. It's believed that these crystals would have taken almost one million years to grow to these sizes. Well, that was a weird wander through all those old gloomy caves, and nobody even found a bear. I can't believe it. And I admit that I'm pretty disappointed about it. Which of these caves gives you the goosebumps? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.